What to do, YouTube, man? This your guy, man, Mr. Why Not, man. I'm back up in here again with another video. Before we get the video started, man, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button for y'all come in. You already have that hit that like button before we even get started with the video. I really appreciate that. Um, how to hook my snorkel lights up in my 2020 Dodge Daytona, man. You know, so you know, everybody want to know how to hook the snorkel lights up, so... I'm going to show y'all how to, how to hook the snorkel lights up. I'm going to be going step by step. I already got it did. So uh, when I recorded it, hey, I thought I hit record, but it didn't record. So I'm going to show y'all what I did, how I did it, and how to put it in in the right steps so you can go ahead and hook, get your snorkel like hooked up in your charger. So right now, what I got going on, these are my snorkel lights. And I'm going to tell y'all how I did it step by step so y'all will know. You know what I mean? So, man, what I already had went ahead and wrapped them. I wrapped them green. Just see how they were going to look. Because I see I already got my headlight green. So, I went ahead and wrapped these green also. Just to, you know, get, get it a little flavor. And go in like that. But but first of all, how do you hook your, how to hook a snorkel lights up? So... You got this piece on here already. This little snap part that look like this. It's not a light. So what you want to do is you pop this out. You pop that snorkel, the other piece out like this that go on top of here. Matter of fact, hold on for a minute. Okay, this is the cover that go here for that right there. You don't gotta do it, I'm gonna pop this out right here. Get you a little um, thing that it just pop out. Just pop it out right here, and it's gonna have a hole in it like that. That hole, you got a hole there. So this is my snorkel light, they light up. So what I did is, um, I popped that out, and I ran the car up through here to here so you see it this the card right here this is the card from a snorkel light you run your hand up through here and you pull it out you take the first of all you take these pins out these pins right here you just pop them out pop them out they go here 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 and you can pop them out all through all down the sides so once you once you pop them out you're gonna run this wire you're gonna get this wire right here, okay? You're gonna run your hand through, you're gonna run your hand through this hole, and you're gonna pull it out here. So you're gonna pull it out here. Let me show you what it look like. It's gonna have the little box on it right here. This box is hooked to this, the little box right here. All right, so you run it up through here, and you pull it out up through here once you pull these little tabs out and this look like this uh, it is it got four wires on it it got two a green and the yellow and you got the you got the ground wire and you got your power wire you got your yellow light you got your uh, green you got your green wire and you got a, a, a yellow wire where the yellow wire is the your yellow wire is your turn signal, okay? And the green wire hook up to your, it, it go with your lights. So what you want to do is, once you run that up through here and pull it out here, you want to get the green wire, you want to get this green wire and this yellow wire, I mean the yellow wire and the green wire. What you want to do is, I cut the ends off. Of them, so I can have a little wire sticking out, and and I got me another piece of a little wire, and I snapped it to it, the green wire and 
the yellow wire. I connected it to this one. I just put a little cap on the cover to uh, secure it more better so it won't be, I didn't have to use no electric tape. So I uh, put the little tab on it right here and it's connected up under here. See, it's nice and tugged and, snug and tight. So what you want to do is once you connect these two together into this one, you want to cover it up. Cover it up with some uh, black electric tape or or with one of these little gadgets what I have right here. All right, gang, I'm back. So where I left off at, I left out right here with the green and yellow wire. I got a little, a little a, a, I have another piece of wire where I have cut out for what I use. I connected to the red, the green and yellow wire. And uh, so once you get this connected right here, and you got this wire right here. Now I'm gonna show you what all that hook to in this little, what this little gadget is. Matter of fact, this little gadget right here is, this is your light. This is what your light hooked up to right here. This part go on your light. So I just con disconnected this from my light. And when I get here, these little tabs right, what I have right here, this is what they hook up to. You got your power wire, you got your power wire here, and you got the wire that I ran to the yellow and, and green wire here. So on this little tab, there are numbers on back of here. You can't hardly see them. You got to look up very close to see these numbers on back of here. But they go from 1 to 6 and from 7 to 12 right here. So they on the back right there. So they at the top. Okay, I'm going to start out with my power wire. This power wire right here, it go to number four. And number four is on my passionate side, it is white and they look red. Orange. White and orange. The power wire hooked up to the white and orange. This is number four right here. And it's right there. It's gonna be number four right here in this little tab on your uh, the little part I pulled up out the the light. All right. So what you do is you get to you get you one of these little tabs. Let me unhook it. Let me unhook it right here. So what this little tab look like right here? You gonna put this little tab right here. What I got from AutoZone. A connector you're gonna slide the white and orange wire all the way to the back of this one and then your power wire you're gonna hook also put that inside there also and then get you some pliers or anything and you just snap you just you just snap that down onto that so it won't move so it can be nice and steady and tight and that's why you don't have to do no uh, a whole lot of cutting this right here do it for you so you hook the power wire, the remote wire, up to the white and green wire, okay? And you snap that in there, and you snap that in there. And then what the only thing you gotta do is put, snap that down and and snap it in like that. Now, for your for your yellow and green wire that you have got uh, an extension on right here, you gonna hook that up to number five. And number five, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do the same thing. And that wire is white and brown. This extra extension wire, the yellow and green wire hook up, hook up to the white and brown wire, which is number five on this your connector that hook up to your light. Okay? Okay, so once you get that in there, you slide this tab all the way to the back over the white and green, uh, white and brown wire. Then you put your extension on there, and you just and you just snap it down and close it up. Okay, what this what these tabs do is they they snap down into your wire, so you won't have to do no cutting. So everything looks very professional. Once you got that hooked up. This wire right here this, that you took out your lights, you just plug it back up in there like so. 
You see it? You just plug it back up in there. You just snap in. That go to your lights, gang. All right. Now, you still have your ground wire. And what I did was I I grounded my ground wire, wire right, here, right here on this bolt. I unhooked this bolt right here. This bolt right here. And I put my ground wire on top of this and I closed it back in. So this is your ground wire. I hooked my ground wire up to that. I got my remote hooked up. And I got my yellow and green wire hooked up. You got a long wire and this is what it's going to look like when you get done. So now once you get that done, once you get that done, you're going you're gonna to fold these up. Well, this part right here, you're going to go, hold oh, on a second. <laughs> You know what, gang? Hold it up. You know what, I gotta get some double-sided tape right quick, and uh, I gotta get some double-sided tape right quick, and I'm gonna come right back to you. And I'm gonna show you where the double-sided tape gonna go. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Like I said, uh, before I get, before we go in the y'all make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button for me. Drop in the comment and tell me what you think so far uh, about the video and. Uh, you think you learning a good? You think you learning something from what I'm showing you so far? Just go ahead and jump in the uh, in the comments and uh, tell me what you think about it so far. Make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button. All right. So like I said, gang, once you got that wires hooked up, you got everything hooked up already. All right. You get you some double sided tape. You put it here on this box right here. You get you some double sided tape. What I did was I went ahead and got me some alcohol. I got me some alcohol and I cleaned up in here. I cleaned this right here and I'm gonna take this double sided tape off. So take this off your double sided tape. If I can get it off, gang. Just push me down. I'm acting slow right now. Can't get the tape off, y'all. Uh, hold on. All right. <laughs> so when I when I clean this up in here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna push this up in here, and I'm gonna put it up in here and put it up here. Where? It's up in the top. If you can see up in there. No. Right, turn the light on. But what I did was, I can see. You see it? Mm, All right. And so you guys push it up in there with the double sided tape. Then you get your light. And you put it back in the grooves. And just snap it in. Snap it in. And it's in. And so once you got all that hooked up right there, you're going to get your wire right here. Everything connected. You're going to... Run it along the side here. When I do, I ran it along the side right here. I folded everything up so nothing won't be sticking all out and out the way. Just fold it up here. Get you a get you a clamp right here. A wire. And what I did, mine was I just went in the little hole there. And I went there, and I'm doing them with tightening it up, hiding it, getting it out the way, so everything won't be looking like it's laying out over the place. 
Cause what I don't like, what I don't like, gang, I don't like. Oh, uh, when you oh, when you see people call that car shows and stuff like that, they got all their wires hanging all over here and stuff like that. So what I do, with mine, I want to keep it nice and neat, organized. Get that, cut that off. Now your wires is hid and all that. So no, they ain't laying all over the place. They're nice and tucked and very professional. All right. Alright. Basically Alright gang, that's how you hook up your snorkel lights on your on your passenger side. You would do the same you would do the same thing on your driver's side. And the only thing different about the driver's side is the only thing you gotta do is you gotta move your cold air intake. And by moving your cold air intake, everybody know if you know cars work on dodge, you know a ten millimeter so I can take you can take your whole car apart. So, by that being said, is what you got to do is you got to remove this. You got to remove this cold air intake in this box to get down here. But you don't have to. You don't have to. You got to do the same thing. You pull that out. You pull this out, and it's the same thing I could do this side. And you take these pins out here. You take these pins out. And you see, yo, and there it is right there, okay? Only thing you got to do is focus, focus, focus. Hold on. Focus, gang. There we go. Only thing you got to do is un unsnap that right here and pull it out from your lights, okay? And I did the same thing on this side. You're going to be hooking your lights up to, let me go ahead and pull it out. Let me go ahead and pull it out. So y'all can get a better picture. Ah. That's why they say you got to go ahead and remove your box because it's tight. You got big hands. You might not be able to get your hand down off in there and pull it out. So uh, there it is right here, gang. So this hook up to your lights, okay? You're going to do the same thing you did on the other side. You're going to pull your, you're gonna pull that extra one out there. And you're going to run your wires up through here to up through here. And you don't got them. Well, put your hand in there, pull these tabs out, and pull all of this out like I did also. And the only thing different right here that's still going to be hooked up to number four and five, as you can see there. As you can see right there, that's number four, that's number five. This time, the only thing different with this one, the wires are different. So the hot the, the remote wire on this one going to be hooked up to number 4 which is right which is right there. The second one from the end. That's number 6. So you got 1 2 3 4 5 6, okay? You see it? And the remote wire is going to be hooked. That look like a white and... That look like a white and... I don't know what color that is, y'all. But y'all get the picture. There yeah, it go, right there. That's number four. That's number four. That's where your remote wire hooked up to. So like I said, you get these little tabs right here from AutoZone and whatnot. You slide that white and... They look black, white and black wire. You slide that tab over the white and black wire. You're going to put your remote wire inside there also. And you're going to snap it down. Now, you do the same thing, like I said, on the other side. Your green, this green, ah, it fell, y'all. You see that green wire? That green and yellow wire, it's the same thing. I just cut the ends off. I added me a another piece of wire on there. Connect them all three together. Connect all three of those together, like I showed you on the other side. And then you're going to put that remote wire up in there with that white and black wire, okay? Like so. Now, hold on. Did I say that? I said that wrong, y'all. I said that wrong. I said that wrong. Y'all didn't even say that. Some of y'all might count on though, but 
the white and the white and black wire is hooked up to the red wire, which is the remote. Now, for the green and yellow wire that's hooked onto the extension wire here, all three of them is connected together. They're gonna be hooked up to prong number five, which five is white and green. Okay, so the, the yellow and green wire connected to the extension wire gonna be hooked up to prong number five, which is white and green. You snap all that in together. Okay, here go out. This is what I did to my my ground wire. I put my ground wire right here, okay? Then just plug it back in. Plug it back in. Hold on. Can I get it? So, keep coming off, y'all. Some people will take that coat, the box off to make it much better, easier to do. But... Hey, when you know how to do something, you just do it. And you heard it snap back in, and that's how they look, y'all. Just like that. Okay? Then what I did was I did the same thing. I snapped that. I got me a zip tie. I folded them up in there, and I connected right here and get it out the way. I put my box up in there. Out the way. See, can you see the box? The box is up in here out the way. So that's what I did. Now, only thing we gotta do, she do it work. So let me get my keys, man. Man, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button. Drop that. Go ahead and drop down in the comments and give tell me what you think about it. Um, yeah, if you learned something off this video, let me know what you learned off of it. And if you get the picture, did I make it better for you without taking everything apart? Let me know in the, drop down in the comments and let me know. So, let's see do it. Come on. Hit that unlock button. Oh, it's working. There we go. And it's working, gang. So, I'm going to turn them on and see how it look. I'll be right back in just a sec. All right, gang. I got everything hooked back up. I hope I, I hope y'all learned something off that video. I hope I showed y'all the right way and everything. How to hook some, hook it up. Hook, hook your snow. How to hook your snorkel lights up, and this is what it looks like when the lights on. Bam! There we go. Everything hooked up. So I got I got this green look. This is what I got going on. What I did was, well, well, you see, why we doing it? Y'all see that uh, my 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 high beam down there? I mean, uh, my fall lights. What I did was, well, I'm finna, I'm trying to see how it look, cause I'ma finish doing that one. I'ma finish doing that one, cause I did that one, cause I like how that how that look coming through there. So I'ma go ahead and put some also on that side, so it can look like that. So that what it look like right now. Everything work. The turn sitting in the light work. Let me see how it look when the turn. I'll show y'all when the turn sitting will come on. That's what's going on, man. I hope y'all learned something off this video. I really do hope y'all learned something off this video. How to hook your snorkel lights up. So, now that we got that said, man, y'all make sure, again, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you ain't did that, go ahead and do that. That'll show help a brother out. I appreciate that. Hope y'all learned something off this video. And, uh, gang, I'm going to get ready to get up out of here. Other than that, 